the Immersion RC range of duo receivers all offer diversity, which in essence means they are in fact two receivers in one. Uh, as you can see, if you look at the back of this one, you can see there's, there's two antenna inputs, two SIs. Uh, one's receiver one, receiver two. Uh, this means there's some clever electronics inside which decide which receiver is getting the best signal and the system will automatically switch from say receiver one to receiver two if receiver two is receiving a better signal. The great thing about these units is you don't even notice the change it's just instant there's no flicker nothing they even they've even put a beep on the board a little beep on the board just so you know that it's changed so you don't think that they're just conning you. Um, a lot of people wonder if spending the money on a diversity receiver is even necessary as they're not particularly cheap. Well the answer is most definitely yes and it will possibly be one of the most important things you invest in when it comes to the quality of your video signal. You may wonder why the hell you would need two receivers, it does seem a bit crazy as you're receiving one signal and you need to understand the principles of radio frequencies but it does become clear that these receivers are not just a bit of black magic they do really really help you. Normally uh, we're using extremely high frequencies for video on FPV or with FPV uh, they're actually microwaves so pretty similar to what you're using to cook food. Um, these frequencies are massively affected by polarization which means the, the actual orientation of your antennas so uh, if an antenna is vertical, that's a vertical orientation. If an antenna is horizontal, that's a horizontal orientation. Now the two aren't really compatible. Yes, you will receive the signal transmitted by a vertical receiver, sorry, by a vertical antenna on a horizontal antenna, but there will be some signal strength loss, in fact a lot of loss. Um, they're also affected, these frequencies are affected by reflections and absorption on from objects, um, trees, even the moisture in the air. So uh, lots of things can affect the signal that's coming from your video transmitter. The idea behind the diversity receiver is to increase the chance of receiving a clean and unobstructed signal and to help you know, with polarization issues. Uh, to achieve this, you, you want to give the signal as many opportunities as possible to arrive in as many different ways. The, the simplest way is to use alternative antennas. Um, the cheapest option is to use two standard whip antennas that your transmitter or receiver may come with. So you'd have one mounted vertically like that and the other one mounted horizontally. This gives you the ability to have a, a plane that can bank and climb etc because as it banks and climbs the polarization of its antenna is going to change. However, for the best results, and it gets a bit more technical, you really want to use different types of circular polarised antenna, um, and then try and use antennas with different gains and different sensitivities. So for example, I personally like to use a circular polarised skew planar, or skew planar antenna. This is a Imagine RC Fat Shark Spiro net. Um, this will allow me to get the, the best signal when flying close or overhead I mean, it doesn't have any problems with polarization it's a circularly, circularly polar, polarized antenna can't get my words out um, along with that I also like to use a patch antenna now the difference between these two is this patch antenna it has a very narrow area of reception now that area gets bigger the further away you go it's like it's like a cone so I will point this patch antenna roughly in the direction of flight and my circular polarized antenna will stay behind it or beside it, however I set it up. So as I fly further and further away and in front of my patch antenna, the diversity receiver should switch to the patch. And if I fly off course or as I get closer, it will more than likely switch back to the circular polarized antenna. Um, furthermore, if you really, really want to increase your range, you need to, uh, or you can invest in a, an antenna tracker. Now the diversity receivers really lend themselves to antenna trackers because you can use one of your receivers or one of your receiver channels on, on this diversity receiver to be fed by the patch antenna which will be on top of your tracker so this will nicely follow your plane around the sky and then as a backup you will have your skew planar or your circular polarised antenna on the, the other receiver. Now the benefits of this is if you're 
antenna tracker loses sight of your plane or there's a problem with the telemetry or a problem with the GPS, the chances are you'll still receive, even at distance, quite a weak signal on your skew or your uh, circular polarised antenna. So you can use it as a backup. Plus, a lot of these antenna trackers aren't 360 degrees and some of them, they not very good at seeing if your plane's above you so you're always going to get a signal through the top of your skew even though it's not the the best area to receive from it's better than a patch antenna pointing completely the wrong direction so as you can see two receivers in one automatic, automatically switches between the best signal uh, I hope I've helped somebody understand why these things are so bloody great cheers